Hello everyone, it's SRAW with uh, another Photoshop tutorial. And you guys kept saying that you want more, so I was originally gonna stop, but I guess I'll just make more. But um, so I'm gonna teach you how to make a cool light tunnel, um, kind of like uh, like this. You can look something like that. And then um, oops. So to start, just make a new document. Uh, I'll just use the web size, use whatever you want. I just call it tunnel. And then you're gonna get your gradient tool, which uh, you go to the paint bucket tool and click and hold, and then it'll be there. And make sure you want the linear gradient, which is the first one. You want the opacity 100 and normal and everything. And then you're gonna click on the colors, like on that thingy. Your yours won't look like that right now. But then you guys usually see this. So um you're gonna for the gradient type, just click on the drop down menu and go to noise. And make sure the roughness, the default will be fifty. Make sure it's all the way up to a hundred. And then um this is pretty much just gonna be the colors of light tunnel. And then you're gonna click randomize until you find one you want. And then you can also mess with the color um, sliders. Just randomize till you find one. Also go, I don't really know what those mean, but RGB is usually the good one. And just click clicking one till you find one you want. Um, I'll just take off my green. Turn my red a little bit. Or whatever. Just until you find one you like, then click OK. And then get your mouse, it'll be like a little T, and just go straight across the canvas, or the document, whatever thing. Just go straight across, so then you just get these lines going down. And then um, what you want to do is make sure your layer selected, and then go to filter, convert for smart filters, and then click OK, and if you don't do this, it it won't look it won't be the way we want it to then you go to filter uh, pixelate and then crystallize and then make sure it's at 17 you don't want you're not gonna want anything else so make sure it is at oops, 17 click OK so right now we just have that and then on the same layer go to filter Blur, radial blur, and then make sure it is on zoom, not spin, and then you know quality for best, and then make sure it's 47 or around 50 is kind of a little bit too much. Just 47 is a good number, or if you want more, go ahead and then click OK, and then there you go, you have a light tunnel, and just save as. Whatever you want, make sure it's a JPEG or whatever, and you're done. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. There will be a lot more coming up soon. So um, rate, comment, subscribe, and be sure to check out Metal Monkey Films. And um, yeah, bye.